it was probably the best period of my, my I've been doing this for like 20 years now, and that, that period stands out on my memory. It's like, it's like it was yesterday, because it was like such a, it was such fun. That's, that's, it's, I know it was a job, but it was also fun. It was just fun. It was just a fun like five, six years of working on it. And I, the best, I think the best way to describe it would be that um, when we did the G.I. Joe movie, um, all, all, I, I was in competition with my friends because the director, Don George, said, okay, I need an opening titles. Best man wins. You guys be creative and come up with something to impress me. And that's when I went ahead and I created this, uh, the G.I. Joe Saving the Statue of Liberty sequence. And literally, I saw those, because you're drawing it, there's no script. I'm just making it all up off, off, off the top of my head. Um, I was able to cut loose and come up with some visuals. And then when Don George saw it, um, you know, he picked mine out of the other two. And that's the one that you see at the beginning of the G.I. Joe movie, where the you know, Cobra's trying to attack the Statue of Liberty, and G.I. Joe's there, and they save him. And it's a, it's a, or it's like a, this, this huge fight going all around the, the Statue of Liberty. It was animated excellently. Uh, they did an excellent job overseas in animating this thing. And it was like, it was, it was fun to watch it because it's like having, uh, going from a TV budget to a theatrical budget, and then on a theatrical budget, they're animating your images that you've been on the storyboard. It's like, wow, this is, you know, I was really, really impressed when I saw the dailies, when I saw the finished product. Um, it was great. And so, yeah, G.I. Joe was like, without that, I probably wouldn't, it would have taken me a lot longer to develop the skills that I, that I have without that series being there.